know what the world is going on with my hair. Every time I make my videos, especially vlogs, I like usually start off in the morning and I wake up being like, and then on my Instagram, you look at my posts and you're like, this is not the same person. Anyways, how have you guys been doing? I don't know how productive today is gonna be. It's a Sunday. I honestly feel very lazy on Sundays nowadays. I don't have assignments to do. I need to work out today because yesterday I took a rest day because I was super sore. Gotta keep getting them gains, you know? I have honestly noticed a big difference in my strength and I don't know, not necessarily my body, like straight up, but the past month I've been working out, I've definitely noticed I feel stronger, I feel better, more capable in my body. One thing that I noticed is it's so much easier for me to now lift cast iron pans when I cook. It's kind of crazy, like I used to not be able to lift them with so much ease. Do I look better? I don't know, but whatever. I tried brushing my hair, but obviously doesn't want to cooperate, so that's what we gotta do. I think we started something, gonna tell the world again oh you're so beautiful i just can't hold it in i think we started something i hope it never ends i hope hope it never ends don't tell me that the good old days are over we're too Okay, so it's the morning and you're probably wondering why the heck am I going outside right after I woke up. Um, it is because I just like to get a walk or a run in in the mornings on most days and it's because I'm trying to stay active and keep up my stamina as well as improve it for dance while I'm in this quarantine. And honestly, it's been kind of hard to get myself out of the house, especially when the weather is like less pleasant like it is right now. It's not cold outside right now but it's like not warm either and the sun is not out and it's just like an annoying weather you know what i mean and today i'm not gonna be running because my calves are still like very sore from the day before yesterday because i was doing like a bunch of like leg isolation exercises and yesterday my glutes were on fire and my legs and my calves so it's a great day we're just gonna take a walk down to this grassy area that is very close to my house and then there i'm just gonna do some stretching and yoga you know active exercises out in the fresh air get a good start to my day before i go and cook breakfast honestly i just think going outside to start off your day is a great way to lift your mood and kind of set yourself up for a good day in general so i definitely recommend what are you honestly the weather is really nice right now it's like it's like after rain weather you know but it's also kind of warm like the air is not super cold and there's no wind or breeze ah it's just so nice to be outside i go crazy staying inside Since this is the morning and it's not like an actual practice session type of thing that I'm doing, I just kind of do a bunch of different kinds of stuff. I do like stretching and jumping and some exercises like lunges and squat jumps, which I usually do 30 on each leg or just 30 reps in total. So you're seeing me do here. After I just get my muscles a little bit warmed up, I start doing some stationary ballroom exercises that my teacher has given to me to work on while I'm at home. And the first one is just standing in a ballroom position, a little bit extended to the left and with the inner rotation to the right. 
and just squatting down and up and when you're going down lower to just lift your heels a little bit off the ground and i do this for about two three minutes i am around two and a half right now being able to do it without falling and my legs getting super tired because it is a lot harder than it looks then just some rotations with extensions as well that's something that i like to practice then I just do some stretching of all my muscles like shoulders and legs and ankles and all of that kind of stuff on my back as well. to do some gymnastics slash acro stuff at the very end because I like to keep my flexibility at its peak and I'm trying not to lose that. Okay, I think I'm done for today. I'm sweating. Honestly, I think doing basic exercises like that as long along with some, you know, active exercises and stretching for about 15 minutes is probably almost as effective as a 15 minute run because I'm still getting my heart rate up. If you don't want to go on runs every single day, which is so hard to do, you can still do cardio endurance exercises. So gonna heat up a Costco sandwich that are very good they look like this because it's already 11 and I don't want to cook anything and I'm not craving anything sweet so probably seen me eat this a lot i swear i don't eat this every single day i do cook myself breakfast and lunch most of the time just sometimes i'm a little bit less motivated to cook or just don't feel like cooking and here's me making my signature i almost want to say chai tea latte inspired by my best friend she definitely got me into this and i drink it almost every single day until i run out of chai and have to go to the store to buy some more <laughs> I was just on my phone for quite a while watching a bunch of YouTube, so there's that. If this was a normal week day, then I'd be doing homework right now or doing like schoolwork, but it's not. So I have kind of the freedom to do whatever and I do all of my schoolwork throughout the week so then I can have the weekend to just focus more on like doing other things like filming videos for you guys and doing more dance things if possible. But I'm gonna read a book right now because I now have the opportunity to do so. This is a book called The Amateurs. I just found it in my bookshelf and I haven't read it yet. A mystery by the author of Pretty Little Liars. So it's pretty good. I'm on chapter like 13 or something. So definitely read a book or just read more in general because you can't just be doing dance exercises and training for the entire day. Okay, it is now around 2.40 p.m. right now. So I'm going to do a workout in my room. I honestly feel like it's so hard for for dancers right now to focus at home and to not kind of lose hope keep on training because none of us can go practice in our dance studios i know it depends state to state some of you guys are already going to be going back for us the quarantine has been extended to may 18th so that's an entire month ahead of us so it's very important that all of you guys keep on working out and doing some sort of physical activity and doing dance exercises and training and stretching and doing all of those wonderful things that all of us dancers need to maintain. I usually just kind of do my own thing when I work out and do whatever exercises come to mind for a certain amount of time for 30 seconds or 45 seconds with breaks in between. But today I'm feeling a little bit less motivated so I'm going to be following video workout and my favorite ones are by Pamela RF. I'm going to drink some water and I'm going to do 12 minute 
I work out. Okay, now that I have finished doing the ab workout, I'm going to show you guys some exercises that I do with this band for your legs which is very important for dance because as dancers you use your legs a lot, especially as a ballroom dancer. Okay, so for this first one, you are going to band lower than your knees. combo that you do a fire hydrant in combination with a straight leg kickback. And after I'm done with those, and for this one I actually use two bands, and for this one I put one below my knees and then one above my knees with my legs spread a little bit so I can feel the tension in the bands. And then the next one I like to do is just put my legs a little bit closer together, turn my feet out. Then the next one is also a favorite of mine. Then the next one is also a glute bridge variation. And this next one is actually a little bit different. You're going to put your band right here and you can take the other one off. You need one band for this one. You're going to twist the band around once so you can stick your foot in it like this. You're going to pull one foot next to you and then the other one you're going to press out like this and straighten your leg and go back up. And for the good of the order I'm gonna hold a plank for a minute and a half. Water is super super important. Make sure that you are drinking it throughout your entire day. I took a shower and I feel like a completely different person. I love taking showers right after a workout. It just like refreshes me. Also, I am um, this is a very good lip balm. I don't know where it's from, but it's like, one of my favorite lip balms. I currently dressed up for another video that I'm filming. It should be out sometime after this one. So this is my OOTD. I'm finally wearing jeans for like the first time in like a while. Although that's a lie, I wore jeans. A photo shoot thing I did and ignore my messy room. Anyways, yes, that is me who has gotten ready. I don't know if any of you out there are dancers who might be dye your hair or non-dancers, but my roots are starting to grow in and it's super annoying. And now since we're not gonna have dance comps for a very long time, I swear like by the time we actually do have a dance comp, my grown out hair is probably gonna be like down to here. Might as well just re-dye my hair into my natural hair color. I am now back from a little errand that I had to run for another video I was planning for you guys. Now I'm drinking some black lavender tea it's so good I'm honestly such a big fan of like lavender flavoring and things I love lavender ice cream my favorite flavor is coffee ice cream which is actually something little that I'm eating right now after dinner which was this my dinner was very delicious and full of protein which is what I try to do as I'm staying at home and like somewhat working out that I don't usually have time to make or focus on. I'm just gonna do some work and like upload some footage on my computer as I have a treat for myself and drink my tea. <laughs> So 
once a week I have online dance lessons and obviously not on Sundays but today is Tuesday and I'm just gonna show you guys some of the things that I do before the lesson to warm up and also during the lesson just so you can see how that might work for a ballroom dancer in quarantine. My dance teacher has a lot of playlists on Spotify for every single dance, Latin and standard included. So I just use that music to practice to when I'm practicing at home because it is just a lot nicer to practice to music instead of just practicing in silence or like to the sound of air. So I like to dance to music. It also helps when I am doing actual dance stuff, like specific steps to music so I can work on timing and rhythm and I just think the music also creates a nice atmosphere. And he, you think, sure she's got everything. I also try to do a lot of stuff that focuses on using my legs properly and using the proper muscles, for example, like side steps and really using those inner thigh muscles. Then I do just some step practice. This is tango and everything that I'm doing, most of it has been given to me by my teacher and my online lessons because they know what the best exercises are for practicing at home and also with the limited amount of space that I have in my house. Some of these are also taken from some of the top world dancers. Um, there are a lot of videos that they post online. For example, Dance Vision posts free online lessons and advice videos from the top dancers in the world so definitely check those out and I also like to do some stretching and just kind of warm up my entire body before or during my practicing so my body's just always activated especially before a lesson I like to do these kind of things life that is simple and planned tied with a ribbon some people won't sail the sea because they're safer on land to follow it's written but I During this online lesson, we worked on Vinny's waltz and some of the things that you can actually hear Mirko talk about in his lecture, but there's only a free short sample available to watch of that. But it's basically about the degree of rotation in your top line as well as your feet when you are doing your natural turns in waltz and Vinny's waltz and also the location of your feet. So that's something that we have been working on the past couple of lessons and figuring that out and it's been a very good experience. That lesson went well and now I'm gonna do some conditioning and like stuff with some weights after my lesson because I haven't worked out today. Not on Sunday, I worked out on Sunday but not today which is Tuesday. But I basically am just gonna do what you guys saw me do previously back to the Sunday vlog. It's getting quite dark and I am uploading a bunch of videos that are gonna take forever to upload. I'm going to now just listen to some music and I also didn't record this but I practice of like tango steps and waltz specifically natural turns which is something that I do a lot now because I don't have room for doing anything else and I also only have carpet so I just have to deal with what I have a little tip that I had for you guys is to just listen to barroom dance music close your eyes and visualize yourself dancing all of your routines from beginning to end just because you can't dance all of your routines right now if you might not have enough room like me i don't know if you do um but i don't so what i just do is i sit down and go through all of my routines so i don't forget them when we do go back to dancing after quarantine i need to clean my room this is the aftermath of filming two videos for you guys I'm trying to film this and also filming a different video so that's just a little youtuber life insight on me
I changed out of my clothes and put on some comfy clothes because I hate wearing like outside clothes for prolonged periods of time at home, especially when it's getting closer to like bedtime, you know. So these jeans are kind of uh, going bye-bye. Not a very huge bath taker, but for those of you who might like them, it helps you relax and kind of like really feel, you know, good with your body and your muscles feel good that you're ready to train and practice the next day and like work out possibly but um i'm definitely not doing that today I feel like this is kind of a weird thing but sometimes i just like to stretch on my bed in the evenings while i'm just like listening to music or just getting ready to go to bed but this will be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and find this motivational inspirational and helpful and as always i will see you guys in the next video bye